a diverse swamp. This swamp is home of 140 bird species, 44 mammals, 50 reptiles, and 39 fish and untold species of invertebrates. My name is Lucia and this is my story. You're probably asking, why wetlands? And wetlands hold a major role in our life, our planet, and our packets. I decided to experience firsthand how wetlands is interconnected with climate change and community justice. I wanted to experience the unique beauty and cultural value that wetlands provide. Hi everybody, we're here at the Francis Byler Forest Sanctuary, which is owned by the Audubon Society. This amazing place is located at the Four Hole Swamp. This forest swamp is the last and largest cypress and two pillow gum forest left anywhere. I'm looking for two cypress trees here in the boardwalk. One of them is 1,500 years old, which is the second oldest here in South Carolina. And the other one is a thousand years old. Oh my God, I think I found it. I found the second oldest cypress trees here around the boardwalk. This cypress trees actually is a little bit thicker than the 1,500 years old. Around the 1800s, a lot of slaves and other people were looking for a better life, better way of living. So they find out the Four Hole Swamp, which is located in the Francis Valor Forest. And Mike, the director of the preserve, is gonna tell us a little bit more about it. We've got Native American artifacts that date back to the uh, 6000 BC, where Native Americans have lived and used uh, the swamp. And, and they would have used dugout canoes to, to navigate the swamp. And slaves, individuals would get away from the plantation that they were on and hide out in these swamps. Do you know why this swamp is so cool? Well, one of the things is that you very rarely will experience mosquitoes biting you. And you're probably asking, why I'm in the swamp? Well, guess what? This particular swamp, it calls Creek Swamp because actually the water is flowing. So mosquitoes will not like to lay their eggs in flowing water. There's just so much life in the small spot that you, you know, every day you see something new and um, you know, some days I'll go and I won't see any spiders, and other days there are spiders on the side of a tree that are big enough to eat crayfish. Well, I get paid to um, show people alligators for one, but I also get to um, kind of teach people about, you know, the way nature really is. It's not as scary as people make it out to be. This is a diverse swamp. This swamp is home of 140 bird species, 44 mammals, 50 reptiles, and 39 fish and untold species of invertebrates. The American alligator was awesome! So you know that actually American alligators prefer deep water and sunshine? is normally a myth that they actually like the shadow, murky, channeling water of the swamp. Another fun, cool animal that I encountered when I was visiting this amazing swamp was cooter turtles because you can spot them when they're sunbathing, you can see their foot is stuck out behind them. It's super funny to see. I was really lucky because I encountered the yellow crowned nine heron, which was majestic. Francis Byler Forest is an example of alternative revenue sources that are implemented in the preserve. And the director of the preserve is gonna tell us a little bit more about it. About 5,500 acres of our property is in an improved forest management project and so far generated over three and a half million dollars that have gone into an endowment fund to help manage this sanctuary in perpetuity. You know, other states are beginning to develop it as a real potential source of uh, alternative revenue. Uh, instead of logging the forest, you can make money sequestering carbon. This beautiful preserve that we just saw in the Four Hole Swamp is actually facing several threats today. One of them is the developmental pressure that they have for the Metro Charleston area that is actually expanding to the 126 corridor to the preserve. The other one is pollution. Sewage 
and industrial waste are dumped into rivers, which flows to the swamp, affecting the wildlife. And the last one is logging. A cutover swamp is still a swamp, but it has been compromised. The water flow is disturbed and the water temperatures rises as the shade is lost. Also, the soil layers are scrambled by the equipment and critical wildlife had been lost. Consequently, the swamp beauty has been compromised for decades. You know that you can help protect wetland forests. Until then, I'll see you in the wetlands.